Well, it is always a privilege to come back and be at World Help, and I want you guys to know that you truly are making a difference and have made a difference in the world and in my world. Um, it's exciting to see World Help has grown up with Brazil, and our Brazilian children have grown up um, with you guys. Today, our country, you know, for many, many years, it was a process of investing in the lives of nationals and investing and we've always focused in the ministry we've always focused on it being a nationals based ministry we came alongside the ministry in brazil and joined hands with them and today they are almost 100 percent self-supporting and that has been exciting world help continues to invest in the education many of your children that were a part of the children of the world now are married have children of their own many of them are staff members and help we have a community center it was an orphanage many years ago and now it's a community center and so I just want to say a special thank you to you guys for all that you have done Vernon you have influenced my life in ways I can tell you you guys have a great privilege to work for Vernon Brewer for Noel um, and here in this ministry because nothing prepared me for missions and for excellence like the time that I spent working for Vernon and um, through this ministry and so I pray that each and every one of you as you have your time here and as God may take you sometime into other future ministries or maybe God has you here for the long term but that you would take excellence with you um, there's there's nothing like that I want to give you a little update on a couple of our kids some of you know the children of the world kids um, little Maria if any of you remember little Maria she is now engaged to get married this just shows how a project like world help and children of the world can take a child and actually change their path and their future Maria was here Maria um, was a child abandoned on the doors of the door the doorsteps of the orphanage when she was only maybe two years old Maria was kind of sickly and always very pale and very tiny and she had the privilege of coming and being one of the children of the world kids and came to the United States learned to speak English and because of that opportunity later about two years later three years later a group came to Brazil and chose Maria as one of the kids to be able to go to New York State and study and finish her high school years there there she met the young man who now is going to be her husband and she is in Brazil right now teaching English in a little school and getting ready to get married and she and her husband want to be missionaries in Brazil possibly training national Brazilians to be missionaries around the world so that just shows the example of one child, just one of hundreds, which you guys have invested in. Um, we have Pedro and Georgie. If any of you remember Pedro, Pedro is a brilliant young man who came and was with the Children of the World Choir. I think he only did one tour. I'm not sure if he did a second tour. But Pedro also had that same opportunity to go to New York and finish his high school years. His English is impeccable. And he is now back in Brazil, and he's in college paying for his own college you know we are so thankful and blessed with the scholarship program which world help offers but I encouraged Pedro to first take advantage and find out what grants he would have a right to through our Brazilian government and he's not had to ask for any scholarship money from children of the world because his school is being paid by our Brazilian um, grants and that is very exciting to me we've really tried to teach self-sufficiency not dependency and I really believe that's what it's about it's about what you guys do is you invest in the ground floor and you invest in our kids but we don't want to teach those kids a dependence on the United States and that everything they do depends on the United States because I'm telling you you need to keep your eyes on Brazil Brazil is surging forward and I truly believe it's going to be a major leader um, in the world and some of the kids that you have invested in 
are the young champions and the young leaders of our country. Pedro right now is teaching in a school and he's completing, I think he's going into his second year in college. And so it's, it's very exciting. Um, several of the kids that you guys have supported help run our ministry today. We have a community center. We have 87 children at the community center. It's not an orphanage anymore. <coughs> it's a center that reaches out to our whole community. And the kids that are running that are your children of the world kids. We recently did a women's conference in our ministry. And what an exciting, this was our fourth women's conference. We have a church that comes from Memphis. Um, Larry Ray, who was an old Liberty guy, his wife Sherry Ray and um, Penny Irvin, they come down, they come about every other year. And this last conference that we hosted, our staff and our translators were 100% our own kids. We didn't need to hire, to bring in translators from anywhere because of the investment that World Help, Children of the World, has made in our ministry and in our children. Our children now are the translators. They're the ones that are reaching out to their community. So I want you to know that we love you and appreciate you and are so blessed and thankful and continue investing. That, that's what it's about. It's an investment in lives. And now our kids are going and investing in the lives of other nationals.